Hello, this is SD, and we're going to attempt to restart our streak. Um, I lost earlier with uh, NGB. That was actually earlier today for me. And uh, we're going to just restart and go back to the beginning and see if we can get a better one off. I think it may have actually counted another loss in my thing, because I did use the FTL save manager to just reload and see whether or not I could have succeeded, because I was, wasn't sure whether or not the um, giving up two, fuel for two, dro or two drones for two fuel, rather, which I had to do because I had no fuel, but that get meant giving up all my drones. I tried rejecting that and then waiting another turn. It gave me a fight, which I won, and then I went a different path, but I ended up also dying on that path, because, again, I just ran out of stuff. So, um... We are going to just start a new streak. Three, two, one. Okay, well, Mantis C, we've just played this ship on the um, on the streak that we just lost, but whatever. I won't go into too long a uh, preamble about this ship because, you know, we've literally just played it. What do we have? Okay, we have a nebula. That's quite good. Hopefully we'll fight some auto scouts, which we're strong at. And or get teleporter blue options. I hope we don't have to wait until Sector 5 to get more crew like we did the last time we played this. Okay, we get boarding with scrap. Good. Where are you? Angie, get indoors. We'll just vent these fools. Looks like there's probably four of them. I'm going to vent my, my clone bay right now, because as long as that stays up, everything else is fine. We'll let them kill these two. You get in there. Probably should have run the Lanius in to begin with. Also, I should have been venting this. That was a mistake. We're just going to vent the NG and the Mantis again to get them to full health, because honestly, they have no skill anyway, so... The Mantis I might not need to do that for, actually, but the NG I might as well get him to full health. So, we didn't make enough scrap there to start upgrading our shields, which you want to do really, really quickly on this ship, because it is somewhat vulnerable in the early game. let the O2... Actually, I'm going to vent this one down anyway. I should have done that to start with. Make it more likely that I take hits on oxygen instead of a system that's more important. We'll let that get up to like 40-ish percent. What do we have to go to? Yep, more, more nebula jumps. I think this is the one that's... No, actually, that doesn't see all that much. We're going to go here, here, and there then. And we might then go here. Depends on what we see. We know we won't be seeing a store in this nebula because you never have stores in nebulas outside of nebula sectors. That should be good enough. Okay, we have a ship that can't hurt us. Um, it has a man, a uh, med bay. How do I want to do this? I mean, I could grind dodge skill here. But I'm not going to. It would take forever, and I don't have that much time today, so... I'm going to just... I'll wait until we get our shields up and find a more suitable ship. I think I'll want the lockdown bomb to just lock them in shields. There's going to be three crew on this ship. And they shouldn't have any evade. So once this guy is down to about 30 health, I think. Yeah, let's do it now. There we go. Now our own crew are going to take damage here because they're in the room with the Lanius. But whatever. We win. 
our other guys will die. The only downside there is Delanius took rather more damage than I would have liked him to. But I don't know what there was we could have done about that. Other than not fighting the ship, and that would be silly. Uh, we'll wait until we see if there's a store. But probably we're just upping our shields here. No, don't go that way. Go this way. No, no store, so let's just upgrade our shields. We haven't fought a single auto scout, despite that being usually what you fight when you're in here. Okay, we can take this. We have a clone bay. Nice! We get a weapon. So, we get an actual conventional weapon. That makes this ship much stronger. I mean, that's not a great gun, but it'll do. Like, we can use it to get through Zoltan shields way, way faster than the weapons we have now. We can use it against auto scouts if we have to. And there's enough scrap there that we can upgrade our shields. So yeah, like I said, this ship likes nebulas early, even though we didn't fight a single auto scout. The, you know, the other things you can get in nebulas, like the manually search event, are also friendly for this ship. Pulsars, however, are not friendly for this ship, especially when they also have burst twos, for fuck's sake. We're going to start charging the charge laser so we can hit those weapons, but mostly I think we just want to rush these guys down and kill them. Why am I not running two shield bubbles? I need to be careful about the Lanius here because um, they're already on low health and there's a possibility that I get... Okay, that's fine. There's a possibility that my clone bag gets ionized. Or just hit and set on fire. That's also bad. Oh, and they've knocked my weapon out. At least they're not trying to repair that. I think that actually is going to burn down. We should still win this. You get over there. Swap my crew. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. We win that. Now we need to be very careful and not accidentally vent any of our own crew. Because we cannot vent everyone back up to full health, which is extremely bad. Because all of our crew are very low on health. If the next bat jump is actually a fight, we might want to dodge it. because otherwise there are too many things that could go wrong. I'm being very, very careful with how I position my people. I also definitely do not want to run out and have my... Um, I very definitely do not want to run out and have my shields down. Because if it's a force fight next, well... No shields could be a disaster. I guess actually we need to charge the FTL anyway. Okay, there's a store. Should we just jump to the store? I mean, I'd want more scrap than this. Let me think. I have, if I sell the lockdown bomb and the stun bomb and the mantis pheromones, is that enough to buy hacking? I think it might be. Stun Bomb is 22, Mantis Pheromones is 25, so that's 47. It is enough. I mean, I'd rather not sell some of this stuff if I don't have to. But it is actually the safer way to do this. Okay, well... can't get it by just selling two of the items. This would only get me to 70. These others would only get me to 73, so... Okay. 
and buy a drone since we don't actually have many drone parts. But you know, at the moment we have the charge laser to deal with Zoltan shields and to pop med bays and things like that. It's not great, but it'll do. Here, there, 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 and bounce around until I have to go to the exit. Okay, we have an outpost, so double scrap possibility. Um, I think I hack here. This ship has three crew on it and a missile. No, you're not the person I want tanking damage. That is only a Lido missile. That's good. Okay, we took down the weapon I was worried about. Once again, no, I don't want you on that tile. Oh, be it now, I probably wouldn't mind them actually killing this person because I'm completely safe. I might manipulate them into doing that. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Knock that down. They get suffocated by the damage that they were taking from the Lanius, having been in that room. So the Lani has killed them after its death. Let's vent you two. I think I'd save now for another weapon. Charge laser on its own is okay, but very underwhelming. I think I'd rather do that than hacking too, due to how few hacking drones I have. Okay, well he'll heal that, so it's fine. No, we're not surrendering to slavers. I think we want to hack in this battle as well, because they have, like, really good weapons, and they have a missile, and they have a med bay. So we kind of need to hack this, which is quite frustrating. They also don't have any rooms that I can fight uh, with all of my crew. I need to hack weapons... Get you guys in there. Um, I think I want the NG and the Mantis in there, and the Lanius can start trying to drain O2 from this room. Okay, we took the missile out. The Burst 2 will still do us damage, but we can go in here, kill this um, NG. Put you two in shields, that will draw people off. And then my Lanius can break. The, uh, the, um... Med bay. Shoot this out. Okay. 
hack that down. Okay, good. We kept most of the damage off the Lanius there. Which is ideal. Now, we didn't get a drone, which is not ideal, because now we can't currently use our hacking. Which is obviously the thing that killed the last run, albeit... You know, that was in Sector 5, and we were facing much more dangerous ships than we're going to face here. But it is still unfortunate that we have uh, not gained any drones from this. Why do we keep fighting this ship? I mean, at least this one doesn't have a med bay, so it'll be easier to kill. I also keep forgetting to run my guys, my NG. That's a misplay. Well, here we're just going to take damage while we board them and rush their crew down. Let's take a quick peek. Okay, well, they just have two NGs, so... Let's... Mantis and Lanius in shields. They'll go fight in there. We'll take a couple missiles here, but... You go and fix that, there's a breach on it. Did we again not get a drone? How aggravating. The NG doesn't need venting here, but the Mantis does. Uh, no, you were supposed to finish doing that. jumps do we have? Three. So probably going here, there, and there. But possibly here, there, and there as an alternative. Okay, if there's a storage cache, this is an auto scout, so we're gonna just board with the, man the Lanius. They can go into weapons and smash that, and then we'll be safe. We only need one shield bubble for this. We'll take, like, one missile. Yeah, like, that doesn't matter. How did we take two there? I guess we took too long to board. Well, that was a misplay. Screw off, get out of the way. I'm gonna park the man the Lanius rather in here so that we will never take any more missiles. Especially since we seem to be having trouble hitting with our laser. I guess I might as well use the Mantis to make this a little bit faster. They've got the buffer. Are you kidding? Well, apparently, I mean, I dodged anyway, but apparently the Lanius is not fast enough to break that. I guess maybe I'll need to board a second person over there, but if I can ever break their shields, I should actually just get my O2 back in there so I can go and fix that. 
If I can break their shields, my charge laser can just immediately take it down. It's just their dodge has been great. Okay, there we go. So, we can now take this out with one shot. We'll leave the Lanius over there so that they can clone and get full health back. Nice, that sells for loads of scrap. We once again did not get a drone. That is three fights in a row that we have not got any drones from. Um, there's no store, so let's just go distress there now. Gives us the chance, if somehow the fleet pursuit doubles here, I can just go straight to the exit. I think I have, let's make absolutely certain I do definitely have two jumps. Yes, I do. I nearly have three, but I do not. We can deal with giant alien spiders. We didn't get the good option, but it's whatever our clone bay protects us. I'm gonna buy a power bar. This has been a very good sector for scrap. I just... Well, we don't need to have any hacking drones to do this. I mean, we're completely safe in this battle. This is another one that I could grind dodge against, but again, I don't have that much time for this run, and I want to just um, find a ship that'll be faster, especially since these people are getting cloned repeatedly. The last time we played Mantis Sea, I did it, and then I did actually do the um, full crew training, and they literally just lost all of their training over a long enough time. Should I try to protect my Lanius's health? I guess. And it won't work anyway. Unless I run them around. I didn't want to run the NG as well. I mean, one option is to do that. The other is to deliberately let them kill the, the Lanius, which I think is what I'll do. And kill the Lanius. They'll go back. No, no, kill my Lanius, please. There we go. I've discovered the Pirates event doesn't give low amounts of scrap, as I had previously thought. It instead gives a random amount of scrap, so sometimes you'll get loads from it. It's always that event where it's like, we'll hack your engine. That can give very, very low amounts of scrap. It can also give very high amounts of scrap. It's completely random. Unfortunately, we got a, we got a medium amount of scrap there, which, and we got the lowest amount from that that we could. And we once again got no frigging drones. Is that five in a row now, or four that we've failed to, or at least jumps? I think it's five jumps in a row, certainly, where we have failed to get a single drone. So our hacking system is currently useless. Inquire about their specialty. That's cheaper than what I would pay, but it doesn't really benefit me all that much. I have a Lania, so I don't really need to worry about that. Do I want Rebel or NG? Rebel is higher scrap, but fewer stores. NG also leads to two green sectors, so I think I prefer that here. Now, NG sectors can be very, very uneven, in my experience, but, you know, like, they have more stores, as just mentioned. And if nothing else, I can buy drones here and actually use my damn hacking system. We can also get Zoltan Shield Bypass. Should I buy Bypass and DNA Bank? I'm certainly buying Bypass.
I mean, this allows me to be very, very aggressive against auto scouts, because I can actually board with two people. And I don't care if they then missile my Columbia down, because so what? There are arguments you could make about that because it doesn't give me it doesn't give me any more weapons, but I can just use boarding as my weaponry. No, but yeah, the worry with an NG sector is just you'll get lots of jumps like that last one. However, this is one of the better ones you can get. I would always take the drop the second option, which gives you a you know a drop the one that has a drone schematic. The top option buys you, like, one extra jump, which in an NG sector may just be, hey, would you like to trade some missiles for some drones or something like that? And it's better to just, you know, take something that you can definitely sell. I'm gonna run them out of missiles here. Depends on what bomb that is, actually. Uh, that looks like an ion bomb, in which case I'm not running them out of missiles. Is it? Yeah, that's an ion bomb. I don't care about it hitting my clone bay, because, whatever, we have backup DNA bank. But if that hits my shields while their heavy laser is up, we're in big trouble. We're going to shoot that out and then board so that they only have one weapon. I could hack, but I want to not use drones if I don't have to, when I only have two. There we go. Now we'll board. Like, they have two Mantis, so we should lose this. Especially since they have a med bay. But we can shoot the med bay out, and if we can kill the NG on this pass... Let's see, put you on the NG, you go... Get you into shields. So they killed the Lanius. Okay, good. They're running the NG over to me. Okay. Can we stop them from fixing the med bay? I think our NG actually can do that. Ah. The NG will eventually lose this, but we can win the fight with our laser. Got it. Nice, double reward including a sellable weapon. Yeah, that was what I was worried about them doing throughout that fight, so... Hence why I did not attempt to tr train against that ship. We also got a drone. Good. So we have two things to sell right now. More civilian ships. This one we hack. They're gonna board us as well. Let's get our NG into doors. Gonna shoot this out. Now we board. Go in there and kill that guy while he's stuck behind the locked doors. 
Now we have an Angie and a Mantis to fight, and we have stronger crew. Angie, go help out. Let's let them kill the Lanius. Oh, the Lanius is nearly winning that. Nice, we got a double reward, and one part of the double reward is an NG. I mean, I'd have preferred a Mantis, but hey, you know, extra crew on a boarding ship is always good. I mean, you can see in these fights, the NG that we already had, even though NGs are not that good at fighting, they're still very helpful. You know, just more people to tank damage, more people to deal damage. Um, you should start on... I guess I'll start you on sensors. Should I just start you on engines? I think I'll start... An engine... The problem with engines is it's very, very far away. If I'm going to use this person for boarding... Yeah, it's too far. So we'll start with you on engines. Or should I just start him in the... Honestly, just start him in the teleporter. We've got multiple distress beacons. We have NGs and stuff, so we have pretty good options for those. I'm gonna stop venting now, I think. Cool. Remotely repair. If you have NGs, that is the best distress option that you can possibly see. I think we might lose jumps here. The sector doesn't connect up as as I thought it might. I thought that would connect more stuff. I think we just had to go there, 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 and then out. And I think we're going to lose one jump doing that. More NG blue options. So this is the NG sex event. The ships are engaged in certain copulation. You can get free distraction buoys from it. So, we get a free distraction buoys. We're gonna sell those because we're already full on augments and the other two are better. Like, getting that for free is usually pretty decent. I would never spend money on it. But it's free here. They have a missile, that means we hack. Although, we need to watch what they're gonna hack first, I think. Ugh, they're sending a boarding drone over. You start going there, you start helping him to break the doors down. We need to be careful because these guys are running away apart from everything else. But if we board with four people into that room, they're going to just come and fight us. Wrong weapon went down there, unfortunately. Whatever. Uh, the hack here is actually going, working against us. It was stopping that guy from getting out and just dying as soon as possible. Yeah, we took two points of damage. It's fine. NGs, go fix those. Lanius, you fix that. Mantis, you fix your hit points.
I'm just holding my scrap in case of another store. But probably we're going to end up upgrading our hacking too, relatively soon. Well, this is the rare ship that has, um... That has two shield bubbles this early in the game. Which means our charge laser is worthless, except for getting crew training, which we're going to do now, because these people actually had two shots. So, I will see you back. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait for their cloak every 20 seconds, which is quite tedious. But it's still going to be faster than doing it against a ship with one shot. So, I will meet you back when we have full training. Okay, we're back. We have full levels on everything. I suppose I probably should have put the Mantis in shields, but the Mantis in particular will die over and over and over again. Now, to kill this ship, they do have a med bay, and they've got three crew over there. I've had a look. They've got... Their crew are quite weak at fighting, but there's still three of them, and they can fit all of them in the med bay. I think what I'm going to do to avoid um, having to use extra items is I will just board them fight them, they'll run to the med bay eventually, and then I'll break shields while we're over there. We may lose some of the training that we just got, but whatever. Especially if I put Alanius in there. You guys go in here, I guess? I don't know. Doesn't really matter where the edges go. Is that an upgraded med bay? I think that might be an upgraded med bay. They seem to be healing very quickly. Break this. Okay, good. We've taken that down. My Lanius is going to die now, but whatever. Take the shields down, and then we can uh, take out the med bay. No, it's not a level 2 med bay. Good. I should have moved the Lanius, but whatever. Oh, there's one of them still alive in the shields. Let's put a stop to that. Cool, we got a nice drop. And yeah, now I'm going to vent all of these guys so that they lose some of the skills that we just gained, but whatever they'll be near to it. They'll at least have level 1 skill, and that's pretty decent. If I recall correctly, we were just about to hit Sector 3 on this run. I'd really like to get a nice, a good bomb weapon. Currently I have a fire bomb, but that's, you know, that's a bad gimmick weapon. I'd like to get, like, a Hermes missile, or a small bomb, or a breach bomb, too, just to complement our boarding. And if we can do that, we're in very, very good shape. We have 36 missiles, we're not going to run out anytime soon. Okay, we've got a store, good. And there's a small bomb. Can we get cloaking right now? Yes.
yeah, that was a great store. That had exactly what we wanted. Um, I'd still like to upgrade my hacking, but that can obviously wait. You know, being being able to get cloaking instead is definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to refuse this. We accepted this in that run that we lost with NGB earlier, and I think it was one of the reasons we lost. And we're low on drones. Running out of drones is one of the only ways we could lose. I'm going to take Civilian instead of Zoltan. Admittedly, we have Zoltan Shield Bypass, but, um... Civilian is just generally a better sector. We don't need that store. We just want to get scrap and upgrades. Search among the stores. We can board this very aggressively because of our... Uh, our Zoltan Shield Bypass and the, uh, not Zoltan Shield Bypass, that has nothing to do with it. We can board it very quickly because of our backup DNA bank. We don't need to hack. Once we break one of these weapons, we're completely safe. Yep, we don't even need to cloak. I'll just keep breaking this. I suppose I could use one of them to rapidly get my dodges back. We'll do that. We don't need to bring our, our Mantis back yet. All we need now is crew. And then just upgrades. <coughs> Some more conventional weaponry would be wor workable, but honestly, I think I could beat the flagship with these weapons. If I just upgraded to weapons... In fact, I wouldn't even need to upgrade to weapons 3. You could use the small bomb and the Zoltan Shield Bypass to kill, off, to kill off phase 1. Later phases, the crew would all be dead. You could just board it, start killing uh, shields, and take it out with the charge laser. You'd take damage doing it, but I think you could win. I can use this to get my Lania some combat skill. Have they dodged a single shot? Okay, now they have. You go back in there. Cool, that got us all our dodges, so... We could get even more combat training on our Lanius, but whatever. Warp you back, you don't need to get blown up. Hacking up. We had a hundred. I just looked at our, our um, looked at the FTL reach at the FTL save manager. We had a hundred and two scrap worth of drops in that NG sector, as well as a hundred and six in actual scrap. And in sector one, we made nearly two hundred. So that's why we're so far, and we had some drops in that sector as well. So that's why we're so far ahead of the curve. We have had two utterly excellent sectors. We've made almost as much scrap as we made on the NG. We're about a cup. We're about 100 scrap behind, or 150 behind, what we made on NGB in the whole run. This ship is dangerous. We're gonna hack those weapons. You stupid idiot. Well, we're probably going to take a bunch of hits here, and it'll be my fault. Oh, no. We got the hack through just in time.
Okay, good. That'll burn down. We'll take one damage from the boarding drone, but it was more important to just... In fact, we won't even take damage from that. It was more important to just win this fight quickly. Um, I don't need to refresh the Lanius. I could try doing that in the fire, but it's not something I need to do. I will refresh these three, though. I'm gonna buy another power bar. Yeah, I just forgot to do the depower trick in time there. The fire that we set with the small bomb is spreading on their ship. Send an away party to investigate. Don't know whether we'll be able to get to that. Probably not. Which is a pity. The Federation base quest often gives you crew. We would need to double back to do it. And it feels like we'd need to give up. Like, we'd pretty much... If we went, like, one, two, three, four, five, we could certainly do it. How many more jumps do we have in this sector? We have at least six and probably seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll think about that. We might see better stuff and just decide not to bother. That's certainly not one of those things, however. Offer them assistance and teleport them. Give us more crew. Yay! So our pilot NG can stop losing his uh, his skill. Now we just want one more. I'll put you on... Actually, I'll put the Mantis on the sensors because the Mantis has the fastest movement speed. Now, do I want to try to get to the base quest? One, two, three, four... Five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I think we have five, but I'm not 100% sure we even do. We probably could dive in this sector, but I don't feel that it's necessary. One, two... I'll start heading towards it and I'll decide we might end up losing jumps, but it doesn't matter that much. Let's defend the outpost. You go in there, all the rest of you will board. Start hitting weapons. Cloak this. Take their evade out. We got this. Cool, we got our max evade back. Double reward.
Yeah, we very much want one more crew so that we can leave our our evade battery in position. Acquire about their specialty. No, we're not going to take a cheap oxygen upgrade. Well, there's a store here. We don't really want to hit a store, but if we want to go to the quest, we kind of have to. If I'd known the jump immediately leading to it was a store, I probably would have not done it. But I didn't. I would have taken more jumps. Um, we're going to come back to this jump. So as long as we make some scrap here, we can come back here and buy the flak. I'd like to do that without having to sell the backup DNA bank. Although, if, if I'm forced into it, I will do that. But, like, I'd rather... I suppose I could sell the charge laser, but... Uh, well, we got another crew member. It's another NG. And we didn't get enough scrap. Uh, we are diving here. This makes this trickier. Do we just sell the charge laser? Because now I really want to upgrade my engines as well. I really wish we had not had that quest go where it did. If we do this, we'll be like three scrap short of being able to upgrade our engines. I think we just do it anyway. I mean, we can take an extra jump because why not? Um, I'm still going to get these upgrades. We'll get if we get any scrap at all, we'll get at least eight, and that will get the engines up. Yeah, we do. Now we can't be quite so blasé about boarding now, of course because we no longer have the backup DNA bank. What are you... I ran the... No, I did run the right NG up there. And they've decided to be annoying. I don't know what bomb that is. We also can't upgrade our engines after this because we're in a solar flare. You go up here. I think we need to hack shields here. Did I mistime that? Yes, I did. I'm using the charge laser instead of the flak because it's more precise against these narrow rooms. Can I just get you over there? I'm gonna hit their hack. Okay, I'm going to shoot at their hack. Put that out. They have the buffer upgrade. Fantastic. How have you not fully broken this by now? That's really irritating. This is in a locked room. I can't vent it. So this is going to just burn out. Unless you break that in time, which you're not going to. Do 
just gonna leave my Lanius over there to keep everything suppressed. They'll jump back right before the ship blows up. Which is now. We can cloak this if it goes off. Okay, so for this, we're not going to board this dive ship. We're going to just get our crew into useful positions. We obviously will be powering the small bomb. They're almost certainly going to have, like, level 3 shields, and our conventional weapons aren't doing anything. We're going to just hack weapons, run away, cloak the ASB. It won't quite be 100%, but we'll probably cloak the ASB. These weapons are somewhat dangerous. I think I hack after the heavy laser. If I do only a level 1 hack, I think I can line the burst 2 up so that it... the burst 3, rather, so that it goes off at about the same time as the ASB. A, bur a level 2 hack will cause it to take too long. Uh, it doesn't matter, I knocked it offline. I thought I would probably knock something else offline, but I guess not. Cloak now. 90% of aid worked. Good. Hopefully we do this without having to waste any more resources. Although really having to spend the bomb is not a huge problem here since we have 42 of them. But I mean, I can just activate my hack and that's cost nothing. We're out. So yeah, that wasn't particularly bad. It was probably worth doing the dive to get the NG, and we ended up getting the flak there that we might otherwise have not got, albeit we may have just taken a different route to getting it. Let's start upgrading our weapons now so we can use the charge laser and the flak together. In fact, I'd like to just get them to five. Use all three of these weapons together. Then work on engines. Yuck. That is only level one, thankfully. Could you please take that down? Damn it, we missed. We're gonna cloak now, and then hack their weapons to stop them from using that glade beam on me. Don't need the flak anymore. Got it. And now we board. They probably only have two crew over there. Yeah, they have two NGs. I have Zoltan Shield Bypass, you stupid idiot. I completely forgot that I had Zoltan Shield Bypass. I could have just boarded and killed this ship right away. Well, we get even more NGs, but yeah, now I feel very stupid. We're venting our crew with our Lanius, whatever. Doesn't matter.
actually, you'll be my boarding NG. You can go up to shields, and you can always slide over to weapons when I'm boarding with the Lanius. Yeah, I totally forgot that we had Zoltan Shield Bypass and thus did some really stupid things in that fight. We didn't take any damage, but I wasted resources that we did not need to waste. Let's accept their offer of surrender, get free stuff, get our weapons up. We can now use Flak and Charge Laser together. We want to get a bit of more power and then get our engines up. Yeah, give me free things. Actually, no, we still want to get our weapons up once more. Check this distress. We can do that. Yeah, give me free things. Store? No. Well, let's do that. Nice, we can get a mantis from this. It's Mr. Smith. So, there's a strange bug. We will send the human to communicate with it. The mantis is grateful to see another human. We could get an engine upgrade, but I'd much rather have another combat mantis. Um, I'll still use my Lanius as my fourth border. At this point, I'm probably going to throw one of these engines off the ship when we can get something that's actually better at fighting. But, for the moment... So we have a full crew. Access to storage cache. What are you hacking? Okay, nothing that matters. The ship is kind of awkward because it has doubles of the same weapon. But if we can hit those weapons even once, we can take one of them down. Yep, there we go. And now we're basically totally safe. So we can try to do this without spending resources. Now we want to shoot at the weapons, that other chain laser. Yep, I was right. It was about to come back. Knock them both down. And down they go. Nice, double reward. Intruder, we might be able to get an NG uh, Mantis here. I mean, we could side. We could offer the mantis up for bounty, considering how much um, how much scrap we have. But on the other hand, we're boarding ship. Let's decide with the fugitive. Get another mantis. Yeah, Sophia here. You're an NG with no useful skills. Just get off. Give us more mantis. What sort of crew do they have over here? Uh, this is not a good situation for you, NGs. And we will just eat these fools. Down you go. Do we even need to vent everyone? 79, 73. 
Nice. We'll be at about 85. I think I'll do this without. And I'm gonna just save all these guys here. So these are our final crew position. I might actually move the Lanius into shields when I get a chance, or maybe even doors. Just, we'll never get mind control, and a mind controlled Lanius is really awkward to deal with. So I don't really want them on as critical a system as weapons. We'll see. Next up, I think we want to upgrade cloaking. Hey, we got this again. Nice, we got a bunch of fuel. We've been spending our scrap rather liberally, so we won't have too much that we can get at this um, at this store. But we really, really, we just need repairs and upgrades. Like the way the way we win this fight, this run is just upgrade now. We're gonna hack those weapons. We only need the bomb for this. There's no system in that room, but it is a four tile room, so I just want to get everyone in there. Wow, even more NGs. Hit the weapons. You two go in there. You two go in here. If anyone clones, they'll just come to defend shields. It's a little bit dangerous breaking shields here because... Yeah, we took a point of damage there. Cloak. It's a little bit dangerous hitting shields here because we're in an asteroid field, but I do want to make sure that they actually come and defend that room. Okay, we got it now. Cool. Since we're going to a store next, we're not going to bother venting anyone. I may keep that whole laser unless I find something better to just be, you know, once we get through phase one. Uh, I'd love to get the heavy laser too, but I don't think we can manage it. Like, we could sell the whole laser one for it, but this doesn't feel like it's good enough. I mean, the heavy laser two is distinctly better than the whole laser two. But on the other hand, it'll be a while before we can bring it up. Eh, it's actually, it's fine. I can, like, just use it for phase two and three and keep the small bomb for the rest of the time. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Prevents me from getting as many repairs as I would like, but it's fine. We have another jump here. in the study, get free stuff. Ignore the refueling platform and get out. Mantis Homeworlds. Let's see if we can find Kazak. We don't have long-range scanners, so we're diving blind. I guess we go here and then there. And then probably there. Uh, we can pry this open. Maybe replace the human. Well, we will replace the human, but we'll be replacing the human with another human, which is not an enormous upgrade. Ugh. Let's hit one more jump, I guess. I suppose we can go there just to get fuel and drones. If I board immediately, does that stop them boarding me? Yes, I think it does. Wow, they've got four mantises over on their ship. Could you hurry up and lock... Yeah, your quad mantises are not quite good enough if I'm going to drop a bomb on their faces. But this is quite dangerous because they're going to go get healed now. 
Take him out. Well, we lost one person, but they're gonna just come back. We're going to a store next so we can safely vent all of these people. The solar flare presents some risk, but... Battery... I'd have liked to get fuel there too, but that would have prevented me from getting a battery. Yeah, the Heavy 2 purchase was a bit speculative, and I wouldn't have done it in a run that we weren't way ahead on. Because the hull laser would have been fine. But the Heavy Laser is better. Go here, and now we're just going to look for Kazak and try to get fights. Unfortunately, we've got a fight in a damn Pulsar. If we board right away, we can stop them boarding us, which is helpful. Yeah, just let them all in here. Well, we just killed them all with a shot aimed at that room now that they're all pulled in there. I will not vent anyone because of the pulsar. Take more fights. I suppose I should have let the teleporter get off cooldown. Oh well. They're gonna board us, so we'll kill people on our side. Can I do this without using a drone? I will try. They're not likely to use the weapons intelligently enough for it to matter. We can spam small bombs like crazy because we have loads of them. We don't actually want to kill these two. Because they have a clone bay, they'll just come back at full health. Cloak. Okay, we will try to kill this time. Although whether we will be able to or not, I'm not sure. Our fighting crew are somewhat low on health and they keep running into a two-tile room all night. Lanius, come join us like the old days. Nice. We get a rock. Human, you're going. Goodbye. They have full pilot training, but who cares? I prefer them to punch things. Cloaking up. Next we're going to get hacking up. Then we'll work on our shields. Then weapons.
Go to the distress beacon, no, because that can't be Kazak. We don't really need the crew member in and of itself, but Kazak gives you a quest where you get a guaranteed weapon drop and you get Mantis pheromones. So it's very worth it, even without... We're diving in this sector as well. So should I get more power? No. I have the battery. So the Kazak quest is very worth doing, even if you don't specifically need the crew member, although the maxed out Mantis is also very useful. This ship is dangerous. We hack for sure. No, not that room. That room. Ugh, they have a bunch of drone crap. Let that guy out of the room so that if I do damage onto their weapons, they can't fix it as easily. I feel like it's more important to take that out than it is to take the clone bay out right now. Now we've got the clone bay down. Oh, they actually killed one of my guys. I guess I needed to crew swap. That was a little tough because they had more, uh, because of the anti-personnel drones they had over there. Hacking up. Power bar. We now have enough hacking and cloaking that we can trap a lot of weapons in the hack cloak cycle if we need to. Another store. I know Kazak isn't there. <laughs> Kazak does not approve of shopping. I mean, we're definitely diving, and I think we probably want to hit the store right before we dive. So we have three jumps before the store. So we're probably going to go here, here, there, and there. And hopefully, Kazak is at one of these jumps. Um. If we hack weapons, we can stop them from ever firing that thing. Admittedly, we could just cloak it and then save the drone. Maybe we do that instead. It depends on whether that's a Hermes missile or a breach missile. I'll hope that it's a breach missile and see if we can save using on any you save using any drones. Cool, we get another Mantis. Um, who are we throwing off now? I think we're throwing this NG off. And we're going to use the Rock, since the Rock has... Well, the Rock doesn't have max pilot skill anymore, but they'll regain it fairly quickly. So we probably want to use the Rock as our new pilot. I'll put them on doors for now. They can get it back up in the next sector, because we're going to be diving in a moment, and I want 100% of aid for the ASB. If we get Kazak, I may honestly throw the Lanius off the ship. Like, I'm only keeping the Lanius at the moment because they are the only person on my ship with maxed weapon skill. And I have no easy way to get somebody who has that back. So Kazak would fill that role nicely. Okay, unfortunately here we just get a nothing event. We'll vent these fools.
it's a waste to jump. One more chance to find Kazak. We might honestly not go to that store. We might go to the jump in the bottom right instead because we don't seem to have made very much scrap. Well, Kazak is not here because there's a solar flare and Kazak is always just at an ordinary fight. Um, we do have to hack here because of the med bay. I engage to that hack a bit early. Do I just wait until this solar flare goes off and then start venting people? I think it's worth doing that. Like, I'm worried about it hitting my clone bay, obviously. But I mean, if it's going to go off while anyone is... It can only do one damage, it would need to set double fires. Yeah, it's fast enough that it'll clone two Mantis. And then I'll let it go off again. Start venting these two. And if it looks like it's going to go off before we get out, we will just uh, jump away. Do we want a chance to get Kazak? Actually, we can go to the store and still get get that jump. So let's just go there. Buy resources. No, Kazak. We definitely hack this ship. Those are really good weapons. And they're running away. Admittedly, I might want to run away as well if I was about to be boarded by four Mantis. We'll fight them in shields. They don't have a medical unit, so they're just going to lose. Yeah. Now the fight is completely safe. More crew who we are rejecting. So, we didn't get Kazak, but we did get ourselves a four Mantis boarding team, so, like, whatever. No, no, not that. Shields. We can't get the full next level of shields yet, but we're close enough. We need one more lot of scrap. Then we buy power bars, then we buy weapons. When my weapons get up high enough, I could just break the Heavy Laser 2 out and use it instead of the Charge 2. And then for the final two phases of Flagship, we just used three lasers. Okay, we just weapon hack and run from this. Um... Actually, rather than venting that, I want to just tie them up in here. I want to have 100% of aid for when the solar flare, not with the solar flare, when the uh, ASB goes off. I uh, yes, I knocked that off. Wow, one bomb, double fires. Cloak.
Slug home nebula. We have an immediate store, which we don't really want. We have to get O2 up, because this is a slug sector. So that delays our shield upgrade by a moment. Guess we go here, 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 and then back and around. If we can find a safe ship, which is likely to be a flying coffin, because we can, like, break some, but not all of their weapons, we then shift the rock over onto piloting to get up to max, and then we use the NG on shields. We don't need to hack on this, I think. We just really need to knock the med bay out, and then we're completely fine on this. Actually, put you there for now, because that way we get the full vision. Okay, they don't have a anti-personnel drone. Cool, we've taken that out. We won't need to bomb, even. Easy win. Get vented. I'm gonna hold my scrap just to see that there's not like a fourth store we're jumping into at one of these beacons. Actually, we'll just get it up now. There can't be a fourth store next because we could, if there was one here, we could always go there, there. Now I'd just like some power. Then we start working on the weapons. Probably want three power to keep the fl the hacking ready at all times. Nothing there. This sees a huge part of the sector, so it's very good. This ship's annoying. Do I want to use my conventional weapons, or do I just want to try to deal with this with bombs? And boarding. I think we just do bombs and boarding here. I can't really get my rock up there to stop them, and I don't want to send anyone else, so... Frankly, if we cloak now, I think they're just going to all die before they can ever shoot their weapons. Yeah, you can cloak. You can't cloak my borders. Wow, they have even more guys over there. Cut that out. No, we didn't need to do that. Oh, well. Well, we wasted a missile. Also, we rejected yet another border. Like, we've, we've had so many crew hires offered in this run. But who needs them? We have loads of crew. I certainly don't need filthy humans on my ship.
Wow, we didn't spot a single store. There are two in the nebula, so... Go here, I guess. I don't think we need any hacking in this fight. We just board right into here. They'll have two or three crew. Yeah, they got three crew. We are going to completely wreck them. Nice, double reward. Do I need to even vent all of you? I don't need to vent you for sure, and I don't need to vent you either. So just these two. I'm gonna quickly look. No, no store, so let's do that. You definitely want to see enemies like this when you're playing a boarding ship, just weak enemies that you can immediately, that don't have very many crew, that you can just immediately overwhelm with your with your boarders, especially when you have a four-tile teleporter ship. Uh, we don't want to go there. Tap their calm frequency. That gives a quest, which usually has a pretty reasonable reward. Yeah, one, two, three, I guess. We're actually now one, two, three. This ship definitely gets hacked. They have dangerous weapons in a med bay. Get you in there, and you in there. I want to let them fire the burst too, and then back there to desync. You're dead. Blow up their weapons. We need to hit their med bay. Actually, no, we don't. You don't need venting, you don't need venting, you do. It's not a bad fight when we only need to vent one person. We want to store now just to get consumables. Just keep our fuel and our drones above 10 at all times so that we can't get screwed over. <laughs> Okay, we got a store. We don't have anything to sell, do we? No. Oh well. We could buy back our backup DNA bank. We'll do that. We really didn't need to do that, frankly. It's kind of wasteful considering how much crew we have. We could afford to lose somebody, but it's fine. We sort of made a down. I might might not have mind the, minded the breach bomb too either, but like our weapons are fine. We'll be, that's good for crew killing phase one of the flagship. But we are boarding in a small bomb. We'll be fine. You guys get up there. Oh, that's only level one mind control. None of these ships have really been safe to try to crew kill against. I'm gonna hack weapons here just for safety. Could you please end the mind control?
Okay, those things are out. Yeah, we haven't fought a single flying coffin ship in this sector. I don't know whether you get fewer of them in slug home sectors compared to slug controlled. That might be the case, I don't know. Well, we definitely need to vent after this. We may well take a big dive in this sector. It's a nebula sector, so it's not like that's likely to get us uh, get us killed. Want to get my weapons up? Um, this ship, I believe, can, like, make you fight them with your weapons halved, which doesn't matter to us at all. So let's ask to see the goods. Yeah, 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 we understand. Not a problem. This is just, like, an ordinary fight. Oh, yeah. Actually, they've completely disabled our weapons. That's a little bit more awkward. I thought it was only halved. But whatever. Who cares? We're a boarding ship. Here, you go deal with them. Our weapons are useless here anyway. Um, do we just hack the doors and fight them in that four tile room? I think we hack weapons and do what we did previously of hitting in weapons and shields. Make sure that glade beam doesn't hurt me. No, you run through there. Like, yeah, you have a med bay and I can't take it out with my bomb, but does it matter? You can't get there. We'll start smashing these weapons. Yeah, these guys need to break through multiple lock doors to get to the med bay. That's not happening. Let's swap crew positions because they're going to try to run through to fight me in the in the shields room, which they prioritize defending. Yeah, you can fire that glade beam all day, mate. Let's just get combat training, I guess. And next time we'll just let that person through. We did damage to them so rapidly that they weren't able to actually get through to the shields room before the, the doors locked behind them. There we go. No, 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 you don't want to go there. You too. Turn away, even more humans. Oh, our, I wasn't paying attention to what was going on on our ship, so our rock got vented. Whatever. Vent all of these guys. It's kind of careless. It means I'll need more dodges to get him up when that comes, but... It's curious. We've killed them, and it's still our weapons still aren't unhacked. Normally that lifts. I guess it must lift when you jump away.
we could at this stage beat the game with no weapons at all because we have a clone bay, we have Zoltan Shield Bypass, we can just beat the flagship by boarding. It's quite fun to do that, but I'm not going to here. Yeah, there's our weapons back. We definitely hack this ship. You get into doors since they're gonna board us. They're in cloaking, we'll vent that. Let the door lock. I was gonna blow, try to hit them while they were locked in that room. They got out too quickly, but it turned out to not matter. Um, you two are fine, you two need venting. So let's close the internal doors. Can't believe we have not fought a single coffin ship in this slug sector. It's very annoying. Oh yeah, we can do this now. So next sector, we will just need weapon 7, shields 8, and get the teleporter all the, and cloaking all the way up. Do we hit this store just to get more drones? I think we do. Let's go there, 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 dive. Okay, this might be a coffin ship. This event usually is. Let's counter the remote hacking. Okay, it wasn't a coffin ship, and now I really wish that we had hacking. They don't have a med bay, though, actually, so we should be fine. Cloak. How many more crew do you have, too? Cool, we dodged the firebomb. That was the only weapon that really mattered. Nice. We won't spend anything because we have that store. there. We're mostly just buying drones here. Yeah, we don't care about anything else there. Get a bit of repair as well, I guess. Um, what's the option that triggers a fight in this one? I know this is another one that you can, um... Slug Repair Station. 
we can take one we can have one where we fight with our engines limited which I don't care about they demand a bunch of fuel which we can ignore they can put a limiter on your weapons which halves your weapon control that's what I was thinking about yeah it's fine let's say sure they've only repaired one no don't be ridiculous okay fine I guess there was an option where you take more damage than they repaired we got that it's fine we'll get a fight they have really good weapons, but we're just going to hack them. We don't want to split these weapons up because they have double burst twos rather than just one. Well, if you don't want to repair my ship, then I will do damage to yours instead. These guys are fine, they need venting. So, now we will be diving. But it's a nebula dive, we're completely safe. And yeah, we didn't get a single chance to put our rock on piloting instead. Yes, board into the room where there's no air. Honestly, let's just board this ship and kill them. The fight ends when they run out of... Uh, when they run out of crew, so... No, we want to fight them in the locked room. They can escape from shields. We crew kill the dive ship, just because. Do I need to vent any of you? Because I have two jumps. So no, I don't actually need to vent any of these people. Um, Uncharted or Rock. Neither of those are very good. I'd go Uncharted if we had long-range scanners. I guess we go Rock. And Rock ships are more likely to have cloaking. No, actually, I should do that. Actually, I don't need to... Yeah, do this. I don't quite need that yet, because I won't be using my three weapons until the flagship, but I might as well get it up. We're gonna go rock. We have protection against live mine. This is the slug uh, cash quest. That's usually pretty good. Let's engage the pirate. We will hack those weapons and go and murder them in that room. What's the way to get the best? Reward from this. Slug, calm tapping. Yeah, just killing the killing the pirate without doing much damage to their ship, which will trigger them to flee. Actually, or, well, more out, more likely, if you do too much damage, it'll trigger you to go after the slug. If you manage to kill this ship before that triggers, you get high scrap with resources. So that's what we're going to try to do. Let's watch where this Zoltan is. Kaboom! 
Let's cloak right now. They'll be dead before we come out of cloaking. So yeah, we didn't have to do a single point of damage to their ship. Just one bomb and the hack. These guys are all getting vented this time. And I will be back in just a moment. Okay. There and then there. We'll save scrap just in case we see a store that might have something we want. It's not very probable. Yeah, come on through. We will easily destroy them. We can afford to vent here because we have a backup DNA bank, so they'll just, even if our clone bay gets taken off, offline, it's fine. They won't die. Rock, go do your thing. There's another fire. It's in my scent. My cloaking. You idiot. That might burn out now, because I didn't notice that had been set until too late. Yeah. That was a totally unnecessary point of damage. Get me out of here. Um, option one gets me a fight. Option two is the possibility of crew. I'd rather have a fight. They have good weapons and the clone bay, but that's completely fine. We hack, we board. Uh, here I actually want to fight at an advantage for a while to take one of them down. And now we fight at numerical advantage the whole time. Level 3 clone bay is down. I mean, I can do that too, but I don't need to. We got crew from it anyway. Actually, you're a rock that already... you got max piloting skills, so... We do that. Now we don't have to actually train one up. That's somewhat unsentimental, but whatever. Our ship is strong enough at this point that if we needed to transition to using no weapons, we could do that. And if we needed to transition to not using the teleporter, we could do that too. You know, we just break the other... No, it's doing this stupid thing. Ignore that. It's the FTL save manager. We could literally just do this. And kill that way. Okay, there is a store that we're going to be forced to go to, so I might as well save my scrap. Go distress store. We have a rock. We get an augment that we can immediately get rid of. FTL navigation can be kind of cute. Advanced FTL navigation can be kind of cute in Sector 8. But I think here we're just going to sling it. If we had free augment slots, I might keep it, but we don't. Yeah, there we go. 
I could buy the breach bomb too to use instead of the small bomb. That doesn't feel like that much of an upgrade. Like, if I had neither weapon and I had a choice between one or the other, I would pick the breach bomb too. But I, you know, I do have one of the weapons already. Let's get our teleporter up next, and then we work on the shields and just getting as much reactor as we can. Okay, it's the Rock Live Mine. We have a defense against this, so yeah, we've got a chance to pick one of two wires. It's completely random. We got the good, we got the good option here. Search for the ship. Cool. Give me free stuff. There's a store that we don't want. We'll just avoid it. We're going to go here, then down. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to go here, there, 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 and out, I guess. That's a shame. I wish we could actually dive in this sector, but it's not really feasible. I mean, we can do this to get another crew member, but what's the point? You still get the fight if you do it. I guess it will buff up our... It'll buff up our score. Our crew... Uh, actually, it wouldn't buff up our score. It would buff up our crew gain. Our crew hired. Total. Do we even need to hack this ship? I'm not especially convinced we do. Cause like... Yeah, we'll just dodge stuff. No, we're not accepting surrender. Oh, I forgot to save crew positions. You get back over there. I do want to hack this ship. Albeit they have neglected to add a medical unit, so... You go in there, you go in here. You're rocks, you like fighting fires, don't you? Even more crew. I'm very reticent to jettison as Zoltan, but frankly, what are we doing with them? Though we don't have time to train them on something else. So I'm just rejecting. Somewhat wounds my soul to reject free energy, but...
Let's jump out before the solar flare hits. Wait and attack the surviving Mantis. So they've got their weapons um, halved by the pre-battle event there. But it doesn't matter enormously. Yeah, you can see it there. They've boarded into the room with my Lanios. Uh, we have level 3 teleporter. We can just board right away with our two crew. Did I say I was finished with you? I shot that a bit too soon, but whatever. We'll need to get the Lanius their uh, combat skill back, but that's fine. That won't take, not combat skill, weapon skill, but that won't take very long. They need to shoot the weapons 13 times. Yeah, we can't dive here. Ford. Just shoot these to get weapons XP. Let's not waste ammo. I suppose I could just run you guys in here and that will delay things long enough to probably get the XP left that I need. Just kite these guys until they uh, get locked behind something. One more shot. Got it. I'm venting all of these guys. Okay, I usually don't like rock sectors, but I have just looked at scrap, and we have actually made a pretty decent amount in this sector. It's a rare, you know, actually tolerably good rock sector. We didn't have long-range scanners, so it was just luck. It probably helped that we had boarding ship, but it, I think we've mostly just blindly stumbled into the beacons that actually have fights at them. Not just the types who are saying, oh, go away, we don't like your kind around here. Um, we hack weapons or shields here. I think we hack shields because it's a four tile room. We just want to lock them in there and murder them. You're coming in to fight my Lanius, that's fine.
Those weapons are not coming back. And neither are those crew. Go help fix the whole breach. Hooray! Mantis repair expertise. So, shields are up. We need a bit more power, but that's fine. We have plenty of time to get three more power bars. And then it'll just be engines, I guess. We'd like to hit a repair station to make absolutely certain we don't run out of drones. Then we'll just upgrade subsystems, particularly piloting in case of mind control in phase three. Piloting three would probably be good. So out we go to the last stand. Well, we get an immediate repair station, so that's good. Give me drones. We have to go through there to get to the base, so that means engines upgrades are more valuable because that might be turned into a forced dive. Hacking and an ion intruder drone. I think I'm going to hack the drone room. Just blow that stupid thing up, and it gives us the four tile room that we need. Damn it. How about no? Clone bay is down. Long cloak. You go fix that. Get vented. So yeah, level Level, get the full reactor, then we just put everything into engines. We obviously don't need to waste time upgrading our doors. There's not going to be a boarding phase, apart from the boarding phase that I inflict on the flagship. immediately to try to stop them boarding us. Yeah, come on in. These guys don't even have very good weapons. Cut that out. Even more crew to turn away.
One, two, three, and then base. More fights. We're once again gonna hack the four tile room. The hack on my cloaking is a little annoying, but it will have worn out by the time they fire their main weapons. Ha! Hopefully that blows up. You blow up. Unfortunately it didn't. We did make it spin around for ages. Even more crew to turn away. <laughs> Let's just vent that. You go fix this. You fix that. You guys get vented. I am one scrap short of being able to upgrade my engines, and unfortunately, both of these jumps have been taken over. Well, I guess we're going here, as that's our last chance to make scrap before the flagship. The flagship's gonna take over the only other jump that adjoins the base, so we won't be able to make any scrap between phases, regrettably. This is why long-range scanners don't seem to have, from the data that I've got, Long-range scanners seem to give you more scrap in almost every sector, but in Sector 8, they seem to have no impact at all. And it's because your ability to jump to fights isn't so much um, limited by knowing where they are as do they just randomly get taken over by the Rebel fleet. Well, we can blow these guys up. We'll hack their shields. We could board them, but I can't be bothered. If we can knock one of these two weapons off, we're completely safe. We knocked off exactly one of those weapons, but it's fine. That's all we needed. We've used all of the drones, pretty much, that we got from that repair station. But it's fine, because that means we have seven to deal with the flagship. That is more than enough. Yeah, go ahead, fucking dodge everything. Just save the bomb. Although this is being really annoying. Alright, so we have level 6 engines, we should be able to escape before a single ASB goes off. Depends on where they board. Um, let's just put somebody, put these two in these rooms. For phase 1 of the flagship at any rate, we want to board into the side room. 
so we'll be doing two-person boarding. The only downside is if they board us, our boarders won't necessarily be at full health, which is not ideal for phase one. Yeah, we can vent you very easily. Let them fire these two weapons and then hack. I guess we might as well shoot, although the odds of us hitting are very remote. Out we go. So yeah, our borders didn't take any damage there. We didn't have to use any of our of our cloaking. Actually, we would have been okay anyway. We had a phase in between. So, these two board into ions. These two board into beams. I'm going to actually put them right here, and that way if they hack like one of these rooms, it restricts their movement less. So we want the small bomb for this phase. Weapons hack is annoying, but, you know, we're mostly going to be fighting these people with our borders anyway. Ha, ah, we actually managed to hit. That guy's gonna just probably burn to death. Because he's stuck in a locked door a locked room with two fires. It's gonna take them quite a while to put that out, and by the time it's out, we'll be ready to board again. Yep. Board into there. This locked room becomes our killing zone. We will systematically eliminate all of these rebels. I bet they really feel like the superior species when mantis are clawing at their face. Ah. Oh. Our weapons aren't actually active because they got... You swap who is in what room. Like, whatever, my mantis will come back and your humans will not. Let him in. You get in there. Is this the only crew member left? No, but we did kill him with a bomb. You might as well start breaking the doors down to shields. And you might as well start breaking the shields. Okay, AI are all dead. The crew are all dead, rather. They become an AI. Now we just start smashing shields. Let's shoot the cloak out. That's good. Let's blow up the hack as well so this doesn't take so long. Take out their evade. And we got this. So, no damage, and the crew are all dead. Um, 
Do we want to put sensors up? I mean, what are we going to put up after phase 3? I suppose we might be able to put the clone bay up in phase 3, which might be vaguely helpful. Probably not, but like sensors definitely won't be helpful. I wish we could have got more scrap between phases. Anyway, it's time to retire the small bomb. In this phase, we'll once again board with two mantises. We're going to keep two on our ship this time in order to deal with the boarding drone. Let's open all the internal doors except the ones to weapons. board immediately into missiles and start breaking things. They actually line that up perfectly. I did the D power trick right. It's just the angle was flawless for them. That's down. Level one cloak now. Break those shields. Let's shoot the drones with my heavy laser. What just happened to my heavy laser shots? Cut it out. Come on back now. So, that's the first two phases down. No damage. And yeah, we'll get this clone bay up. Because we might just end up murdering our own crew in this phase, and if we do that, being able to clone them rapidly would be helpful. This will especially be the case if they mind control the Lanius. I'd have liked to be able to get piloting up as an alternative, but that didn't happen. So, we're going to board with two Mantis directly into um, missiles, and because we have Zoltan Geo Bypass, we can do that. But which two we do it with will depend on who gets mind controlled. We will chase them. Okay, they haven't picked on one of my main borders, so let's just immediately go in there. Start smashing the Zoltan shield. This is probably the most benign person they could have mind controlled, beyond that he's a mantis, and that's a little bit awkward to deal with. You go and block that. Oh, actually, he's run out into this room. I can just vent him out as soon as, um...
We dodge both of those. Missiles are smashed. Um, go into piloting, I guess. I'll just shoot everything into shields. I expected to do more damage there, to be honest. Let's put more borders on them instead. Let's shoot out the mind control before it, say, hits our pilot or something like that. I saw that. Don't think you can fool me, I'm wise to your tricks. Really? Let's just get these guys back. Well, we'll eventually win this when we can actually hit the fucking shit. That was some impressive dodging from them at the end, but it wasn't impressive enough. So that's a zero damage flagship. It's twice in a row we've done that with Mantis C. And that gets our streak off to a good start. 60-30. Reasonable reasonable score. I'm not surprised we've set a record for most crew hired because that was just ridiculous. We were turning people away constantly. We had so many one in nine um, so many one in nine you know, low scrap plus crew drops. So uh, that, was a, that was a good win. So, let's find out what ship number two will be. Three, two, one, and go. No, we just played that ship. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, Slug B. We go to another boarding ship. This one's not nearly as good. But, I've had some reasonable success with this recently. So, hopefully that continues. I will see you for Slug B next time, and I hope that you enjoyed the run. Bye for now.